Now that we've learned and discussed all the nutrients that the food we eat is made up of, we're going to learn how to figure out how much of those nutrients we're actually getting in our food. We do this by reading the food label or the nutrition facts label on the side of most packaged foods. On the slide, you can see it's a food label for a box of Cheez-Its. You can see things like total calories, fat, cholesterol, and then the percentages on the right. Like, where do you even start from all these things? Turns out there's actually an order to this. This is the order you're going to read the food label in. You can see it starts at the top with serving sizes, and then you look at the calories. Remember, calories are energy, which fuels our body. And these calories are made up of mac macronutrients and micronutrients. Do you remember what the macronutrients are? Well, carbs, protein, and fat. Do you remember the micronutrients? Vitamins and minerals. So, if you look at this nutrition label, one serving size is 27 Cheez-Its. At the top, you can read that in the single container, you can have 27 Cheez-Its almost 12 times. That is the number of servings. The label tells you that if you have one serving, which is 27 Cheez-Its, you're having all of the amounts listed below. So now you start with calories. According to the food label, if you have one serving, which is 27 Cheez-Its, how many calories are you having? The answer is 150 calories. So now that you know that one serving is 27 Cheez-Its, the whole label is based off of you eating those 27 Cheez-Its. If you eat more or less than that serving, these numbers will change. After we look at how many calories we get from one serving, we can look at the macronutrients we get from this one serving. So what are the macronutrients again? Carbs, protein, and fat. So how much fat do you get from one serving? Notice that the food label shows you total fat and then it breaks down into the three types of fat that we talked about. So how much carbohydrates do you get from one serving? Notice that the food label also tells you how much fiber and sugar are in this item. These are all carbohydrates that we discussed earlier. And how much protein do you get from one serving? Yep. And finally, after the serving sizes, calories, and macronutrients, we now look for the micronutrients in this food item. What are micronutrients? Remember, it's vitamins and minerals. What are the micronutrients listed on this label? Food labels don't always list every single vitamin and mineral in that food because it could be a long list, but it does highlight the important ones that your body definitely needs to get enough of. Always remember the 520 rule. 5% or less of bad nutrients and 20% or more of the good ones. A 5% daily value is considered low, so aim low for total fat, saturated fat, trans fat, cholesterol, sodium, and a 20% daily value for vitamins, minerals, and fiber.